In this video, we're going to have a look at the costs of inflation, other than the obvious of purchasing power going down. So the first cost to look at is what's called shoe leather costs. To understand this, you should first understand that when inflation is high, you want to hold less cash, because the value of that cash is going to diminish pretty quickly. If you keep your money in the bank, you can expect that interest rates will keep up with inflation. This is something we'll look at a bit more in future videos. But if you hold your money in cash, then with prices going up, what you can actually buy with that cash is going to go down. So you don't really want to hold it. Now, not holding cash or holding little cash ends up causing certain costs. To see where the name came from, shoe leather costs, consider that before electronic transactions were so widespread, if you wanted to make purchases, you would have to walk to the bank and make a withdrawal. So doing this frequently, walking back and forth between the bank in order to take money out to make purchases would wear out the lever in your shoes and you would need to get them replaced or repaired. Now this is not such a concern anymore. With FPOS being all over the place and you know, with the new technology taking off where you can tap your phone against a scanner to buy something and with online shopping being as prominent as it is, it's no longer so important to go to the bank and take cash out. This doesn't mean that you don't have to worry about shoe level costs though. The name does not just refer to 